At King County, we are building a culture where all employees feel safe, supported, and respected in the workplace, where we are all valued for who we are as people and for the unique skills and perspectives that we bring to our work. There is no place at King County for any type of harassment or discrimination, and our policies need to reflect and reinforce this expectation. Our existing non-discrimination and anti-harassment policy, which was implemented in 2002, has ensured that we are providing the proper legal protections for employees, but it doesn't adequately reflect the culture we want at King County today. We have updated this policy so it truly reflects our culture and expectations for respectful workplace relationships today and going forward. Under the new policy, we go beyond dealing with incidents that rise to the legal level of discrimination or harassment by also prohibiting inappropriate conduct. While a single utterance of a racial slur or sexually suggestive comment is not severe enough to constitute unlawful harassment, this conduct is inappropriate and won't be tolerated. The new policy also sets out a clear reporting structure of incidents to the county's human resources managers and workforce equity manager for appropriate follow-up and response. It also requires that we track complaints, what action was taken, and the resolution to the complaint. And the policy outlines the responsibilities and the consequences of non-compliance throughout the entire organization, from department directors to individual employees. If you believe that you have been the subject of inappropriate, discriminatory, or harassing conduct, such as unwanted advances, sexually inappropriate comments, or racial slurs, you should report the conduct to one of the county's human resource managers or the workforce equity manager. If you don't report it, we don't know about it and we can't address the behavior. Managers and supervisors are also responsible for reporting incidents of discrimination, harassment, retaliation, or inappropriate conduct that they witness or is brought to their attention to their department's HR manager. A training plan is being developed to ensure that we all understand the new policy and its expectations of us. Having a strong policy is important, but we need to have a culture built on mutual respect where every employee understands our expectations for the way we treat one another. That's where each of us plays a role. We work together and serve together, and together we create the culture that allows us all to be at our best every single day. Because it's the diversity and uniqueness of the people who work here that help us succeed in our work, and that is something that we will celebrate, promote, and protect.